People age 30 or older, have you run into any of the cool kids from your high school? How did their lives turn out? I had my 10 year reunion a couple of years ago. I mean they're all gorgeous tall and skinny. I will say the most popular girl, she got married. And her husband kept telling me what a nightmare she is. I guess people always look happier on Facebook. One of the guys is succeeding in a field he's been passionate about since high school and is active in charity work in his community. He was one of those guys that was popular because he genuinely wanted to get to know with everyone he met, so it's not surprising he'd do well. One of the mean girls got arrested two years ago for stealing from her job as a parking lot attendant at the beach. I'm 25 but one of the coolest guys at my high school, he was very attractive, a great artist, really pulled off that cool guy alternative style, his mom was a well known super successful local photographer, and was able to get him into modeling, and helped some murals he painted get published, killed himself. He drove headfirst into a tree going like 70 miles per hour outside of his girlfriend's house because she cheated on him. A lot of us have his mom on social media, and it's still hard seeing how much she suffers every day. She buried her baby for such a stupid reason. I just think, if he had lived through the accident he would be looking back right now, married maybe, saying I can't believe I really almost killed myself, because some girl I dated for a few months cheated on me. His mom is very convinced that he wasn't trying to die he was just trying to prove a point to the girl and hurt her. But his family is who was hurt. And the girl didn't even go to the funeral. Didn't seem very upset at all. She's married currently to the guy she cheated with. Well I was the coolest kid in high school. How do I know? I had a DBZ button down flame shirt. Only the coolest kids had those. Sometimes I even paired it with my Jimco jeans. But only on rare occasions. Like when I took my date to the prom. How am I doing? Fucking great, there is a Ram LP trivia contest at the local Walmart next week, and I'm going to destroy it. Those little kids got nothing on me. I graduated almost 30 years ago. Most of the cheerleaders are now on the big side of Portly, with multiple kids, most of whom are either going to or already done with college. The jocks and cool guys largely stayed around town, and built up business relationships there. Some seem successful, some less so. A lot of the guys slash girls ended up marrying each other, even the ones who weren't actively dating each other in high school. During high school football season, my Facebook page is overwhelmed with posts from people who still go to the games every week, and every 5 years the reunion dominates conversation for about 6 months. I think if you grow up in a relatively small town in a relatively small state, this is probably pretty common. I can count on one hand the number of classmates who left the area and settled elsewhere without coming back. He graduated college with honors, went to teach in Africa, met a fantastic girl there, spent some time in England, then spent another year touring around Europe, moved back to Washington state, and now they are getting married later this year. It couldn't have happened to a nicer guy, and I mean it. He was cool and popular because he got along with everyone and was nice to everyone. That guy has one of the biggest hearts out of anyone I've ever met, and I wish him the best. I was home shawled, so, I'm doing just fine, thanks. The kids in church, that I grew up with are mostly still doing the church thing. Got fat slash married, having babies left and right. I'm in better shape than I was, when I was young, traveling when I want, moving to a new country, to be with my so. I'm doing just fine, thanks. It's weird that this question assumes nobody on Reddit was the cool kid. I'm not saying I was the most popular, but I enjoyed high school and college. I'm afraid to tell you many bullies went on to join frats, get connected and get good jobs. Those type of personalities thrive in the business world. I think you wanna hear that their lives ended up sucking. One of the football brothers at my high school, who was intensely popular came over to help install a water heater last year and tear out some rotted flooring. I remember him as being kind of a dick in school, not to me personally, but that was his general reputation, but he seemed to have mellowed out a lot. Married with kids. He was real polite to me and my family. The two cool guys who cheated on me in college, have totally let themselves go, and gotten fat now, like Robert Berathy and fat, even though they were both in decent shape, when I dated them, especially one guy who really prided himself on his good looks and his rockin' bod. I'd be lying. 
If I said I didn't gloat about it a little bit to myself from time to time. Anytime I need an ego boost I just look them up on Facebook and remind myself I dodged a bullet. I went to school in quite a strange area. The school had a catchment area that included the richest part of town, a middle class area and the affectionately named Stab Town. So we had a real cross section of the community. So there were popular kids from each demographic so the three most popular people are currently working in Malawi, just appointed managing director of some big ass company, and in prison for selling drugs. Best part is the one in prison, was from the rich part of town. I'm 53. One of my classmates just died this week of an aneurysm. Scary. Didn't matter if he was a cool kid or not. Yeah I know what I mean. Point being, high school should never ever be the high point of a life. A few years down the road and absolutely no one cares who was cool and who wasn't. The best you could do in high school, just practice being a decent person. Be nice, kind, compassionate open hearted. People always remember that down the road. This guy I went to high school with, stereotypical jock party boy. Total asshole to anyone who wasn't popular. He'd slap books out of people's hands. Pull the chair out as you were sitting down. He put a fish in someone's locker before we left for spring break. Now he owns a mega successful real estate company. He's always bragging on Facebook about the ridiculous amount of money he pays for stupid things. He just got married last year to some 20 year old who looks like she could model for Victoria's Secret. He's 37. I'd say I was one of the cool kids and everything I have is surface level great now. Definitely peaked in high school. I maintained my looks, but they mean nothing, because while my job is super cool on LinkedIn, it doesn't have health insurance or a 401k. Not married because psychologically I always think I deserve better. Back in high school, I had a friend named Peter, who was probably the closest to being a universally beloved student as any given location might have. While he didn't fit the stereotypical description of a cool kid, you would have been hard pressed to find anyone who didn't at least respect him, and he often used that reputation to great effect. Unfortunately, his congenial nature had the tendency to attract some undue attention. Like when I orchestrated a school-wide Harry Potter lookalike photoshop contest, starring Peter, and I hung all of the submissions, of which there were a couple dozen, in the hallways. I feel the need to stress that the fellow in question was my friend. Now, something you need to know about my high school was that it was sort of experimental for the time. It had been funded, in part, by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, and it used some rather progressive teaching styles. There was, for example, very little homework, and everything in class was done on computers. As a result, the school was something of a model, and it frequently hosted tours for educators from all across the country. Peter, owing to his friendly demeanor and his sharp mind, would often serve as the guide for these tours, taking them through the glass wild campus, to demonstrate all of the amenities. One such amenity was a large projector screen, hung in the middle of the digital media classroom, which was visible from almost anywhere in the school making it a perfect stage for some of my more interesting Peter-centric pranks. Such was how, while giving a tour to a group of rather conservative school officials, Peter found himself hastily explaining that he wasn't actually a bodybuilding model for Men's Health magazine, he just had a friend with a warped sense of humor and an excess amount of free time on his hands. The larger-than-life image of him flexing his impressive muscles was not, he insisted, anything other than a poor attempt at a practical joke. Rumor has it, that one of the tour attendees seemed disappointed. You may be wondering, what any of this has to do with how Peter turned out in the end. In answer, I'll tell you, that he has gone completely bald, and that he now works as a 7th grade teacher in the same district, where we went to school. He is reported by many to be one of the most patient, friendly, and insightful educators they have ever encountered which may or may not be the result of having gotten plenty of practice during the four years when he was putting up with my antics. Sometimes I wonder how his students would react if I supplied them with draw hair on Peter Magnetic Pen Games. 31 here. I ran into the it girl when I was in my hometown in March. She still looks pretty good, although she's a bit heavier than when I remember seeing her last at the five-year reunion. 
However, I was filled in my another classmate later that night at the local watering hole that she had been up to some things in her personal life. She got pregnant then engaged to a much older man right out of high school, which lead to her dropping out of year one of college. They broke up before any wedding, and as far as I know, the guy is super gone. Then, she found a new man a couple years later. Got engaged again. Except this time she almost literally left the guy at the altar. She never showed up on the day of her own wedding. Four years later, she found another man, engaged for a third time. She called the whole thing off just three days before their planned wedding. And so again last year, she met another man, got pregnant again with baby hash too, and then did a super quick courthouse wedding. She had no professional skills at all aside from finding men to dote on her, which I guess is arguably a profession if it gets you taken care of, and no aspirations to do anything, except raise her two boys under the loving wallet slash protective blanket of her new husband. I guess it could have been three divorces, if there is an upside. I'm not in my 30s, but it's interesting to me, that most of the cool kids from my school, have come out of the closet, moved to the city, and live drastically different lives than they did in our religious and oppressively conservative town. The most popular girl in school is now a special needs teacher and it's really adorable. 10 years ago at my 10 year reunion, the cool kids were doing okay in terms of being 28. Some were married, some were pregnant. Most were on the road to decent careers. Some were already going nowhere, focused on just being really drunk and working menial jobs in our hometown. Last year would have been my 20th reunion and I didn't go. But a lot of the people I have run into are now divorced, most divorced twice, since that 10 year reunion. It seems like a lot of the girls slash women are now stay at home moms into MLM things like Jamberry and Lularo. A lot of the women have also found God, so super into whatever church they are in. Some of the guys are fat, and working dead end jobs. Some are just older doing the middle class thing like the rest of us. Many of the cool kids have made their way back to our hometown too, which is fine. I mean I live here again too. It's an inexpensive not too small of a town place to raise kids. But if I were to summarize what I see of their lives on FB, or whatever, it would be met. They didn't go on to have fantastic awesome lives. They went on to have the same lives as a majority of everyone else seems to be having. They are not more beautiful or more successful. When I think of this question I always go back to our senior class president. Mike was a very friendly, intelligent, athletic, handsome, and mature dude. He hung out with the jocks, captain of the football team, but also took up level classes and interacted with those students great. He ended up marrying one of the chillers from a class two years ahead of ours, and they had a couple kids. Last time I heard of him, he was a project manager at one of the larger construction companies in our area. They guide as well for himself, and is humble about it. While I've never had much interaction with the guy outside out classes in HS, I've always been impressed with him. Some of the other popular kids definitely starting hitting lows when they got out of HS, but they are not the only ones. No, but I have FASA book. The girls mostly got heavy, they just started having kids, and their husbands are all bull goofy looking guys for some reason. The guys are faring a lot better. They stayed pretty athletic. Some married, some still single. Went to a preppy catholic school as a kid, didn't connect with most kids, because my family wasn't rich and my daddy wasn't a lawyer or a stockbroker in the city. Haven't spoken to, or seen any of them, since I moved out of state, but whenever I remember a name I usually get around to looking them up on Facebook. The girls all married guys that look 15 years older due to their balding hair. Lawyers, cops, and doctors. They all seem to have 2-3 to three kids, and did not age well. The guys were kind of 50 over 50. Either they had an unplanned kid, and are now single dads, or they didn't have kids, and became successful suits up and nick and just have pictures of their cars, Dallas Cowboys merch, or selfies from Yankees games. Just about every one of them ended up like their parents, which is how a lot of people grow up under normal circumstances. But no one is dead and everyone looks happy, so I'd say life is good for all of us. Still can't relate to any of them though. We didn't really have cool kids. Our school was upper middle class, but very transitory. In my nerdy clique there were a, B, and J. No idea what happened to J. 
or ended up stay true to her nerd self by doing artsy hippie things, dabbling in everything from painting to sword fighting to belly dancing. Married and had two kids. Was living well, but 10 years ago was struck and killed by a car while she was crossing a street near her home. B withdrew into herself. Does day care, but doesn't speak to anyone. Her little sister married into some kind of wealthy European royalty and I only see B in her sister's professional family photos, posed in front of European countrysides. Outside our group, almost every popular male sports ball player ended up fat and underemployed. The rest did okay, though. One kid everyone sort of liked was this preppy, babyface guy who dressed well and had an exotic upbringing on Pacific Islands. Cheerful, never mean, always quick-witted with a wry smile. He's now a professional DJ with a beard, dreads, and performs at a lot of industrial and goth venues. No longer baby-faced, he's still not unkind, but kind of stoic and no-nonsense. 